everybody. Welcome back to Humankind. I uh, did manage the couple of overtaken cities there, gave them a little bit of a production queue because they were just empty. So we can go on with exploring that continent over there and uh, maybe get through to see a little bit more tech. Um, yeah, after that centralized power upgrade. Oh, there's a new idle army. <coughs> see what we can find out here. Man, that does feel good. I can't, <laughs> can't get over it. Must have been roughly what Christopher Columbus felt when... Well, actually, he must have felt that when he arrived at America, right? Because when leaving, that's a very different story. Maybe the first two weeks you feel great, but then after how many weeks and weeks at sea on a sailboat with dwindling uh, supplies, I wouldn't want to trade, honestly. Okay, somebody else reached the medieval stages, but we are... Now we got another star, another population. And we lost some units. That must be those mercenaries up here <coughs> that we lost. We can assimilate this here as well. I'll influence this here a little bit. Um, I won't take it over though, because it's just going to slow me down again with the management. Oh god, four idle cities. Um, well, we got plenty of industry in this one. I think, was I about to get some food production? I hope I was, because we really could use that here. Um, we could do... A second harbor, I guess. Ah, no. Let's just build a bit of that stuff. Um, we don't have rivers. Charcoal kiln. Mm. Get the fort so we can see better. More stuff for researchers. And actually put these guy into research. Because we have enough industry, I feel. <coughs> we don't really need to uh, get some influence in the main plaza. Oh, and stability while we're at it. Okay, next. Um, Numantia. Oh, that is actually a very, very productive city here. We can make it more productive. Or we can start with the food production which is think we should do. Um, let's also contribute a bit to the lighthouse. Get another district here, okay, and then we could use some extra stability research. Let's just earn some money. More influence, sure. Get the food market in advance. And the fort, so we can see a little more. Here. This is actually not too bad. We'll get another food source and then another couple markets and here. Make this our richest city. Yeah, not like we have any other choice. <laughs> we can't move these guys anywhere else. Oh, yeah, because I don't have the watchtower yet. And of course, extra signs on. But... Okay, I'll just keep you busy a minute. And. What to do here? Well, that's actually quite the synergy here. So we'll go for some 
extra food and extra food markets and then and there we go also want some stone walls yeah 11 turns we'll check back after that okay a schism in the heart uh, excuse me while i take a sip of my tea here ah much better followers of the empire religion continue to grow but within the temples and holy places, tension brew sadly. Tensions brew. Full stop. Sadly, the blossom interpretations of religion, religious tenets is leading to schisms at worshippers' place more or less imp Okay, my brain doesn't work. Um, sadly, the blossom interpretations of religious tenets is leading to schisms as worshippers place more or less import on different rules. It speaks to a wider question of how other empire religions should be seen. Is religious harmony something to aspire to or a question that shouldn't even be raised? Um, yeah, I think we'll go with the open-mindedness. Orient ourselves a little bit more towards liberty. So that takes care of our... Nice. That takes care of our little problem that we've been drifting toward... Uh, I keep forgetting. Uh, towards stability. Um, whatever this side is. And of course the tooltip is back because I restarted the game. Yeah, that really doesn't work well, but whatever. We'll, we'll survive that. Okay, let us see what we can see around the coastline here. We could right away attack some of their embarked armies. At least they have swordsmen already. The Babylonians do. And I think they just recently entered that age. Yep. I have no stars yet. So we'll sail around this. And here is finally... Well, we have three empires that we didn't meet yet. So, where's the other one? There he is. Um, well, we'll just sail straight over. Uh huh. There is probably a continent that we didn't actually that we could settle on. Um, that doesn't hold any AI um, because we just now got the ability to uh, actually cross the oceans so I can't imagine where the AI stands I mean, they're probably still in rowboats and I'll buy myself another one of these Oop, there we go 1600 I mean at this point we can afford that Carrick, right? Okay. And we'll just move it out into this gray area. Maybe we can find something more. Because I want to explore a little bit faster. We won't be having many episodes, if any at all. I think I'll close it with this because we are... It's almost 3 o'clock and uh, the open beta is on its way. It's going to be um, unavailable at 4 o'clock, as far as I'm aware. So... Oh, nice. Yeah, I would have loved to see a little bit more of that late game in action. But uh, I think we'll... Um, yeah, we'll call it in this one. I want to finish one more wonder, though. So how about you help out with the lighthouse? And then... Wasn't I starting to build there? Yeah. Build a couple more these well at least one more and get the armory and we had the tax office somewhere there he is food markets sure okay um we should be able to finish the lighthouse right matter of diplomacy ah finally 
Who are you? The Aztecs. Those are the most advanced. We'll introduce ourselves and find out Do they are suspicious. Sign this treaty. They're much less powerful than we are. They're hateful and traitors. And they are... Is that an archetype? Wow. Well, um, yeah, if you pay me for it, but not yet profitable. But yeah, this this diplomacy system is a little bit weird. We met them here now, so now they have deployed some swordsmen. Wonder if we could see. I'm on it. Okay, we need to have to declare war. I wonder if we could see who these are at war with. That is a... Oh, there's none. Um, <clears throat> that would be very interesting. Which of these empires are actually at war with each other? But yeah, I don't think we'll be able to see that. Oh look, we found Italy. That's the bottom of the boot. Well, it's laying on its side, but it is a fantasy game after all, right? So Memphis keeps gaining population. It's like the more you have, the more you gain it. And it really un unlocks um, and we're already at five stars uh, yeah sure we're getting population like crazy we're going through these scientist stars and the next thing would now be to declare war on one of these AI sitting in the other continent there but I'm uh, not sure yeah it's like finally we're oh, but this continent seems to be even bigger than ours. Um, or maybe that's like a bunch of islands there as well that we just can't really get through. We'll see. No, it does look like there's a... Is that an island too? Yeah, it seems to be. Could be connected to the continent here. That could also be just an island. Wealth of the Faithless. Well, we get the civics now. The Empire stands for tolerance and religious freedom. Faith of many denominations welcome here. However, now that your own religion is stronger than you, than ever with two holy sites found across the land, you have the power to decide if minorities of other faith should be subject to taxes for peaceful coexistence. Mm. Yeah, I might have that in theory. In practice, we don't have any... Civic points. Okay, so we're gonna... Uh, yeah. It's really unraveling now, that civics... Um, civics tree, and I really... Really appreciate that. Mm. Tebis. Okay, we help out with the lighthouse, and it's gonna be done in one turn. And then... Grain silos. We have so many people here already. We don't really have room for more. I mean, we can't put them anywhere here. We can put one more into science. So, whoops. What happened here? No, I don't want to do that. Um, so, what can we do? We could produce more... Searches quarters, I mean, why not? Yeah, why not? It does cost us a bit of stability, but I think we have. Yeah. That's influence, wasn't there? Oh, we already built that one that gives us stability per researcher. Taxation office as well here. I got the armory because with all these people we're likely going to build a couple more soldiers and a great fish market. And well, yeah. I guess we'll get the grain silos as well, but yeah, it, we won't reach that anymore. Okay, more idle cities. Um, you guys oh, completely forgot what was the plan here. Um, I think food and then some... Yeah, we'll just try and get some researchers there. 
We'll lose 11 food, though. Won't be the end of the world. And we'll just get the hamlet here. Build it in the corner, and then we can build some food stuffs around it. Furnace and the taxation office. Okay, and then we have one more in here that we need to enable with the food. And then we can put one on the harbor. Actually, that is stupid. We don't need you. My furnace, we got the walls almost everywhere. And uh, oh, we got that science goodness. Can take out one, we can take out two. We still got plenty for barely though, but we'll get another farmer's quarter and then we'll be good there again. A new population is also spawned in there. Okay, move the army a little. Chartered companies. We'll have a bank now. Stock exchange. Yeah, we really should start trading and look into that. And we got the Lighthouse of Alexandria. Nice. So we got all the wonders now. Um, actually, yeah, here's the Colossus, and the lighthouse is was here somewhere. That one. There it is. Let's see what it brings us. We can click in this city. Uh, 20 stability, okay. And the Colossus. Five food and 20 stability. Well, at least we got stability and what's here? Head banging history. The cultural influence sky high. The Empire loves nothing more than a good story in now a great one has come to light. Sadly, it begins with the death of one of the Empire's most beloved statesmen, an influential figure in Maga, Magado Borg. Apparently, reliable sources in the city swear that this lord died after running into the into his bed's chamber's doorframe while <laughs> chasing a half-dressed foreign ambassador. Well, that would be the way to go, wouldn't it? The lord's son, who has inherited his father's mantle, is begging that he silence the truth and promote a story that he died while hunting a great beast. What's your choice? So we could reveal this and go towards collectivism or we can go to... toward homeland. Um, both of which... I guess we'll move towards collectivism a little bit. Right? Yeah, we want to move toward collectivism a little bit. So we get a little bit more food production overall. Even if this test is quite stupid, it's the truth. History should know. Yes. And we got more idle cities. Uh, it's... Oh, my favorite one. Okay. So we'll actually start the next one. Now, what would you do again? Extra fate... Yeah, I think we'll use that to open up these lands here and build you here. And we'll have whoever is idle again. Well, maybe not you. Build another harbor here. Can it be... Huh? Didn't I click the harbor? Harbor. Plus 30, plus 24. Yeah, but this tile here has the... Added possibility. Okay. Ah, uh, well, actually, we have the harbor now. We might could add some food here. And now we have five people of peasants that... Yeah. And another five people of peasants. Okay. How did that happen? They're probably going to overtake the city here, but... Not that I could care too much. I mean, we could move our armies in could upgrade them to 
our best gears, which are quite a bit stronger. Slower, but quite a bit stronger in combat. But yeah, I'd, we'll see what happens when uh, barbarians take over your city, honestly. It doesn't matter for this island there. It's just a, a scouting outpost as nothing else. Um, yeah, we'll just get some stuff in here. And there we go. Okay. Declaration here as well. Probably not. Let's see, we can't see the other side of that continent. It is I'm not quite sure what this means here. But I think yeah, I think that is the start of the continent over here, though. That it's not yet settled must mean there's no land connection, because I mean the AI would would usually settle this, right? And we got a world delocked and more population. Yeah, that's crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. And we researched some more science outputs. Oh yeah, that was a world deed as well. More fame, not that we actually need it anymore. I mean, this really spirals out of control. Population gain, yep, yep. Okay, let's see, what can we still get? So there's a trade fair, and we really didn't get into trading. We got the mana war, so now we could really fight naval battles. Um, actually, we could really dominate the seas with that one. And we'll get this, and then the flintlock, and then the rest. Because that is all the tech there is to be had. Actually, we could get this one too, but it's not that relevant. And that's going to be it for the tech tree. Um, what can we do you for? Guess, actually, let's go for some. How can I? Oh, yeah, here. Yeah, the construction menu is still a little bit clunky, I feel. I think that could be organized a tad bit better, but anyway. Um, fishmongers, whatever, extra foods, extra forts, extra taxes. And now we got the university here, printing house. And the cabinet of curiosities, actually, we might want to prioritize those. <laughs> like so, maybe. And we don't need people working in food, I don't think. Nope. We can have them all be working in industry. Okay. Now, one more idle city. And then maybe we'll do one more turn. I want to see okay, just whatever else you can get. Um, here's the fort. Actually, the city is quite productive. You could help me work on the wonder after the forge. We can just buy out the forge. There we go. Eight turns. Really, this one is idle. Oh, nice. <coughs> well deed accomplished. Be the first to discover the great blue hole. Cool. I really like this concept. I mean, the game is very, very pretty already, and it has these world wonders that you could discover, which is really something I quite like. Okay, so now here we seem to have stumbled onto some mainland, or at least a big island. And here, well, we can try and get open borders with these guys. Generous, a uh, yeah, very sure. generous proposal. So we can explore a little more. Nice. 
Well, the city... Oh, the city of Memphis is idle. Well, we can't even fit these people anywhere anymore. Um, yeah, we'll just build more science quarters, though at this point, actually, we don't need them. Because as shown, we have... Oh, actually, let's build that one first. There we go. And then get some taxes, increase vision range, and make the science more sciencey. Even in Memphis, that takes some time. And of course, with micromanagement and careful planning and whatnot, we could speed that up. But not much at this point. Um, yeah, and that's my one quarrel with the game too. Uh, though it might actually just be. Hey, there we go. Patronet researched. We got gold, 100 money. And yeah, this seems to be a continent that we could have settled on if we... And uh, get another world deed. There's one, I think, for discovering a continent. More idle armies, really. Oh, uh, yeah, we don't need the curiosity. I mean, it's just either money or science. I'd rather explore more of the world. Okay, so yeah, that seems to be an unsettled continent. Wow. Really hope for the eye's sake that this is not connected. Um, or maybe we've been playing the game wrong. That is a possibility. Because if the eye is not settling over there and staying tall the way it is, then it might be... Let's see if we can get... With you guys. Generous. A very generous proposal. And what's your reaction? Just a straight no, I guess. Fine, be that way. Okay, I think we explored a little bit. Um, I'm gonna wrap it up here and give an overview of my thoughts on the game while we finish the Todai G and while we explore a little bit more of what could have been if the beta had ran a little longer. And uh, then wrap it up for that open dev, which I'm really kind of thankful for that they... Uh, not kind of, I'm really very thankful for that they did that. Because it's such a cool way to... Uh, yeah, to get like a first look and explore and do it over Christmas. I mean, of course, it's marketing for them as well. Um, getting all that content on YouTube about their game and getting the feedback, getting to see how people play the game, power game the game as well, because <laughs> um, that is what a lot of you probably did. Um, but still, it's also a very nice thing to have something over Christmas, like an early present. Even if the game's not finished, they they still that, did that. And I want to believe in my heart that they did it for the fans that await the game, because it has been postponed a while. Anyway, that'll do it for the episode, guys. We'll see each other in the next one in a minute. And uh, I'll give you a wrap-up of what I think about what we experienced in these uh, 26 or so episodes of Humankind. <laughs>